out of breath, ready to step up your freediving abilities with some more advanced breath hold exercises and techniques. Getting your breathing right is the most important aspect in improving your dive time and depth. And with proper training, you will quickly start to notice massive improvement in your free diving abilities. Breath hold training is all about improving your body's comfort and tolerance to carbon dioxide level because actually it is the CO2 level in your body that gives you the urge to breathe and not the oxygen level. One of the most common mistakes that people make when starting their breath hold training is to go too hard, too fast. These exercises require persistence and patience. Improving your breath hold is not only about how long you push yourself, but rather how many times per week, how many times per day you practice your breath hold. Consistency and perseverance are key. The best place to start your breath hold training is actually out of the water. Start by sitting or laying down and practice holding your breath with your body. The aim here is to record your breath hold time and gradually start to increase it over time. Before you begin, you want to try to relax yourself, calm your body and muscles and lower your heart rate. Simply try to calm and relax your entire body. Take three to five deep, slow breaths in and out. Then take one very deep breath, filling up your belly, then your chest, then the back part of your body. Finally, when holding your breath, try to think of other things that calm and relax you and don't focus on your breath hold or needing to breathe. Record your times and gradually try to extend your breath hold over a period of a few weeks or even a few months. Don't push yourself too hard or too strong to avoid blacking out and always practice with the body. Once you're feeling comfortable, the static breath hold can also be practiced in the water, either in the ocean shallows or in the swimming pool with your body. The steps are the same as before, the only difference being that you are practicing with your head in the water. Repeat the steps of calming your body, relaxing your mind, taking three to five deep breaths in and out, before one big breath in, filling your belly, chest, and the back part of your body, and holding onto the edge of the pool or your body. Place your head in the water and try to focus on calming your thoughts. Time your breath hold and gradually try and increase it over the period of a few weeks. Once you're feeling more confident, you can repeat these steps and begin training your breath hold at the bottom of a pool or in shallow waters. These steps are really similar to the static breath holds we've just practiced before, with an additional duck dive after your final deep breath. Once you have braced up, duck dive down and slowly descend to a comfortable position on the pool floor. While holding your breath, sit and lay still and keep your mind away from thinking about your breath. It's also important to ensure that you have a body present. Time your breath hold and gradually try and increase your bottom times. This exercise requires a bit of consistent and persistent training, but after a period of a few weeks, you will notice drastic improvements in your bottom time and lung capacity. Some more advanced breath hold exercises include following all of the above steps, but instead of staying still and practicing static breath hold training, we're gonna start active breath hold training. As we duck on the water after breathing up, we are going to slowly descend to the bottom of the pool and with our body streamlined and straight, we are going to swim laps of the pool on the water. While on the water and in between breaststroke kicks and strokes, keep your body as flat and streamlined as possible. Similarly, try to keep your mind on other relaxing things and be sure to have a body present. Time your active breath hold and gradually try and increase your bottom time. As before, never push yourself too far to avoid blacking out. The final exercise is to bring this active breath hold training into the ocean. Similarly to what we've done before, after breathing up, calming your mind, body and heart rate, dive down and descend without forgetting to equalize. Once you are on the water, holding your breath, calmly start kicking at a steady pace and keep your eyes on your surroundings. When you feel your body starting to constrict, slowly ascend and come to the surface. Always be with an experienced body. Record your bottom time and gradually try to increase it without pushing your body's limits too far. Remember that while in all of these exercises we are trying to gradually increase our breath hold time, but what's more important is the consistency at which we practice. The more exercises you will do, the more CO2 tolerant your body will become. As a guide, when starting out, it is best to surface and breathe before feeling our first contraction. But as we consistently practice, we will notice that our comfort level before feeling this first contraction will expand. Finally, how often should you be doing this breath hold training? Well, that depends on the diver. 
It is well understood that rest is critical to allow the body to recover. Starting out, try to keep this to two or three sessions per week and, as you become more experienced, increase this amount to a comfortable level. Remember that overly stressing your body will only hinder your breath hold and training. Get training and I'll see you on the water.